Hello and welcome to my fissile fuel tutorial. This shouldn't take too long. You can see behind me the setup to make fissile fuel. Don't worry, I'm going to explain each of these steps. If you find this useful, definitely smash the like button so other people find this video and consider subscribing. I've got Let's Plays of the big mod packs coming out all the time. Right, let's get into how to make fissile fuel. Fissile fuel is made in an isotopic centrifuge. Look it up in JEI and how to make these things. And it comes from uranium hexafluoride. These machines need power and you need to make sure you configure your pipes and your machines correctly. So get yourself a configurator. We need to make sure the machine's inputs and outputs are all set up correctly. So if you right click on your machine, you'll see these dots. If you click on the dots, you'll have items, gases, energy, there may be more. You wanna make sure you're on the right section for the right job. So my isotopic centrifuge needs to accept in this setup gases from the front. So I'm gonna go into here, make sure I'm on gases, find the front and make sure that is an input. And this will now accept from this tank, the hexafluoride. Same thing can be done for tanks. You can see here, this one has infused types, pigments, slurries, all sorts. So you need to make sure they're configured. The pipes need to make sure they're in push and pull mode. To use your configurator, if you shift and scroll wheel, you'll see you'll slide through all the different items it can do. So if we're on gases, if we're on fluids, if we're on one of these, it means we can shift and right click on our pipe and it will change its setup. So I've just turned that to none, so it's not connected anymore. If I break the pipe and reconnect it, now I want it to pull from this tank. So if I shift and right, you see it's highlighting just around the edge. If I right click, it's now in push mode, see bottom left. And if I right click again, it's now in pull mode. So it's pulling out the gas and putting it into my isotopic centrifuge. Now, how do you make uranium hexafluoride? Well, huh. uranium hexafluoride comes from two ingredients, uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid. So if I right click, you can see coming in on the left hand side is hydrofluoric acid. In my config, I've got input one, which is the red box, input one coming from the left, input two coming from the right, and input two is the orangey box, and you can see that here. So I've got my hydrofluoric acid coming in from the right, and my uranium oxide coming in from the left. Uranium oxide is a fairly simple thing to make. Uranium oxide is made in a chemical oxidizer from yellow cake uranium. Yellow cake uranium is made in an enrichment chamber with eulorium ingots or uranium ingots. Do check JEI though, the recipes may be different in the mod pack you're in. I'm gonna go through how to use JEI towards the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned because I can take you through how to figure this all out yourself. So uranium oxide coming in from the left. Hydrofluoric acid, that is made in a chemical dissolution chamber with fluorite and sulfuric acid. So you need a good source of fluorite. I tend to put mine in drawers and I pull it into my chemical dissolution chamber. And remember the configuration, these are items. So I've got mine set to input from the top. If you've got it in your drawer system and you're pulling it in via AE2 or refined storage, then you have to configure this correctly. So fluorite and sulfuric acid in a chemical dissolution chamber. Keeping up, good. Next, how to make sulfuric acid. And welcome to the purple section. You'll see color coding is linked to the big setup over there. Right, so uh, sulfuric acid is made in a chemical infuser with sulfur trioxide and water vapor. Water vapor is pretty simple. A rotary condensator is the tool for this, the machine for this. Rotary condensators have a, a way in and a way out. Um, you can toggle the operation either. They are turning into gas a liquid or they are turning a gas into the liquid. So this way it would be turning water vapor into water and toggling this button is now turning water into water vapor. So we can pipe in water vapor, simple. Sulfur trioxide, however, is another couple of things. <clears throat> sulfur trioxide comes from oxygen and sulfur dioxide. Makes sense? Trioxide, three oxygen, so dioxide plus oxygen equals tri... Anyway, that's chemistry. Oxygen comes from separating the hydrogen and oxygen in water using, a le 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 using an electrolytic separator. So we've got hydrogen and we've got oxygen. 
this is a cool machine because you could probably you're going to use hydrogen and oxygen in lots of things so i would suggest setting this up to keep these things in tanks but if you're not bothered about keeping the hydrogen you see this has stopped working now so we're not producing any more oxygen this little button here means i can dump the excess so when this will never fill up so we're constantly producing oxygen the water could come from our sink and you'll see that over there so oxygen coming in from the right and you'll see in the gases i've got input two coming in from the right and that links to this little orange box sulfur dioxide comes from a chemical oxidizer of sulfur dust makes sense i'm adding oxygen in a chemical oxidizer to sulfur dust so i've got my item input coming in from the left and my gas output from the right sulfur dust that's made in a crusher or a pulverizer you'll see that in jei in a minute so quickly running backwards Sulfur dioxide turns into sulfur trioxide using oxygen. Sulfur trioxide and water vapor turns into sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid and fluorite turns into hydrofluoric acid. And hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide turns into uranium hexafluoride. That turns into fissile fuel. Should we have a quick look in JEI? Because you never know, the recipes could be different. So when I'm in JEI, the first thing I do is I look for fissile fuel fissile and i can see up here there's the fissile fuel i click on that and it shows me how to make it there's two ways of making it reprocess fissile filaments or the isotopic centrifuge with uranium hexafluoride so if i hover on that i've got mine configured to anchor or bookmark using the letter a that's now popped that up here so i can use it and i can do that for uranium hexafluoride as well so i can get back to it if i click on uranium hexafluoride it shows me how to make it there are two ways decondensatoring well that's just turning a liquid into the gas we want to use the chemical infuser and this is telling me to make uranium hexafluoride i need uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid okay so i press i hover over the chemical infuser here and i press a and i've got a bookmark for the chemical infuser now how do i make uranium oxide so i left click and it shows me in a chemical oxidizer with yellow cake uranium so i hover over this i press a i know i need a chemical oxidizer i left click on the yellow cake uranium and it shows me how to make it in this case it's an enrichment chamber with two ingredients eulorium or uranium so i can press a on the enrichment chamber and know i need an enrichment chamber now i need to get back to the hydrofluoric acid well i've got it bookmarked the hexafluoride sorry i've got it bookmarked so i can just left click on my bookmark and now i can work out how to make hydrofluoric acid hydrofluoric acid i press a and it shows me i need a chemical dissolution chamber with fluorite and sulfur sulfuric acid i could decondensator it but we know that's just turning a liquid into the gas that's not what we want we need this one so hydrofluoric acid is coming from fluorite and sulfuric acid so i could press a on that i could press a on that and i could press a on that all bookmarked now how do i make sulfuric acid left click sulfuric acid in a chemical infuser with sulfur trioxide and water vapor a and a and a and then i can go into water vapor decondensating oil no don't want that but this is basically scrolling through any liquid in a decondensator i.e turning a liquid into a gas we know what we want to do with that so we can press a on the rotary condensator we can go back to our sulfur trioxide and we can find out how to make oxygen sulfur trioxide in a chemical infuser with oxygen and sulfur dioxide oxygen comes from an electrolytic so we could do decondensating again look but we want the electrolytic separator which is any liquid turning into hydrogen and oxygen bookmark it back to try sulfur trioxide and we've got sulfur dioxide we left click on that and it shows a chemical oxidizer of sulfur dust and sulfur dust if we left click on it can come from three ways you can craft it with earth charges pulverize it or fractioning still but there are different types of sulfur dust this is the thermal version there is also the mechanism version up here so if i click on that it shows me i can actually use a crusher to crush sulfur into sulfur dust and there you have it how to navigate jei and all the machines you need to make fissile fuel hopefully you found this helpful if you got right to the end i'm so pleased thank you and definitely subscribe to the channel i've heard that the subscribe button explodes with balloons these days <coughs> right catch you in the next video